it was a huge team win. Um, some people step, stepped up when they needed to. Um, obviously losing our best player from last year, um, well, losing Kelly. Um, she's been a great leader on the bench and helping us, especially she's helped me a lot. Um, I owe like my success from the last two games to her. Like she's been leading me on the bench, and um, so yeah, it was just a great team win. I'm very proud of us. We're just gonna come to practice tomorrow and build off of this. Um, so we have to take it one game at a time. Um, keep playing as a team, and we'll be successful definitely this weekend. Really happy. It was. Such a great team win tonight. You know, our kids really battled. Did the little things tonight. Like, we made hustle plays, which was so great to see. Um, we played defense very well, and we talked about our communication before the game. I thought the kids did a great job of communicating and holding assumption to, to one shot. I think we contested their shooters, for the most part, pretty well. And um, I think that's what I'm most happy with, our defensive performance. Uh, Nicole Ross, a career high mm -hmm. 17, yeah. um, obviously picking up some slack with Kelly out now. Just talk about her, her game tonight. Yeah, Nicole had a great game. Just set the tone for us offensively, you know, pushing the ball and running in transition. And um, obviously with Kelly being out, um, you know, that's something that we've worked on and talked about, just our ability to, to push the ball and run the floor with Kelly. Um, and certainly Nicole has um, a lot to learn as a sophomore point guard, but she really did a great job in, in understanding tempo and when to slow us down, um, given a shorter bench tonight. So just really proud of Nicole and where she's at right now. Um, talk about, obviously, huge loss with Kelly out for the year. Yeah. Um, year 80 90% through preseason when it happens. How big of an adjustment is it in with a week before your season starts to completely regroup? Yes. <laughs> Dark circles. <laughs> uh, it really is huge. To lose a, a player um, and a leader like Kelly Martin, it really um, is very hard uh, to handle. But one of the things that we've all talked about is, you know, really coming together and everybody has to do something different. You know, when you lose a player with that kind of intensity and passion, ability to score, defend, um, and like I said, leadership, everybody's got to fill a different look different role and bring some more, you know, something different to the table, which we're getting there. And, and certainly I think, you know, we're new to the, the new look that we have, but certainly tonight was a great win. And, you know, honestly, you got to talk about Kelly Martin because it's certainly devastating for Kelly on the brink of a phenomenal senior year. And she has sat on the bench with us the day she found out that it was probably a season ending injury. She was in practice talking to the kids. So you you can't talk about her enough and her leadership and really how much she's going to help the young kids develop. And I told her she is, she is now Coach, Coach Martin, which she's been waiting for for really four years. Probably has been Coach Martin, but now she gets the title. So really proud of her as well. Just two quick questions on this and then we'll move on. But what, what's the message to the team, A, in the immediate aftermath to just, you know, all right, here's – how we're going to deal with this moving forward, and I guess that's my first question. Yeah, you know, it, it certainly, she is such a presence for us in every aspect that, it, you know, we, we took our moment, and it could only be a moment because <laughs> we've started the season now, you know, to really be sad about it. But then it's about, okay, it's just what you talk about in a practice setting. You know, you play possession by possession, and you really have to think about the process. Well, we have to get to our process. It's a new process, and, and we're working on that process, but, you know, we just have to focus on practice to practice and game to game and, and really about, like I said, each individual player understanding, you know, a role or maybe a new role or an enhanced role, and, and we're going to talk a lot about that in the next couple weeks. Percentage-wise, how's, I mean, if you were maybe 90% ready for regular season when it happened, does that knock you back and now... You're two games in, and how do you feel you guys have tried to catch up in a hurry? I think that the, the kids really have embraced just just focus on the now. You know, we, we can't change what happened, as sad as it is, but you really just got to focus on the now. But I think one of the things that really has helped our development is the way everybody came in this year. And that's what we were really excited, and they're still very excited about, that every kid went home, all the veterans went home, they worked really hard in the summer, people came in more fit, their skill level was better, game understanding. So that's helped us absorb that loss of Kelly Martin because everybody's better. So now 
you know, here's your chance to prove it. <laughs> um, off the bench, Gabby Root at eight points. That really gave you a yeah. spark with some foul trouble. Just talk about one of those new new players who maybe is sped up a little bit here in this, <laughs> a little bit. Exactly. But Gabby did a great job tonight. And, and really her strengths, you know, are what was great about tonight. She's just really active. You know, she's a very good rebounder. And, you know, the fundamental skills and kind of her understanding of our offenses and, and those things, they're going to get better. But she just worked hard tonight and made hustle plays for us. And, um, you know, th that's, you're seeing a lot of great things. And like you said, her development is probably, you know, now being sped up. But it's a good thing. She played great tonight. A long road trip this weekend. You're playing a tournament in New York. Um, what do you take from these first two games now moving forward? Yeah, well, I think tonight gives our team – a whole lot of confidence because Assumption's a very good team, very well coached. You know, that's a league game, you know, our first true test. Um, so I think we, we take a lot of good confidence away from this, and now it's just back to the details. You know, we've got to clean up our offense. Um, I think defensively, again, that was a huge strength for us tonight. So we build on that, and I know that we, we're going to see some athletic teams in this tournament, so we have to be ready to defend and really just sharpen our offense.